hello and welcome to Paper Play with Julie Kay. Thank you so much for stopping by and today I have a gorgeous altered pin cushion to share with you guys as a guest design team project for Craft Supplies for You. Craft Supplies for You is an online store that carries a wide variety of beautiful laces and trims to embellishments and bling that can be used on a variety of projects. And in today's project again I created an altered pin cushion um, from a teacup and I used a wide variety of products and I'm really excited to share with you guys everything that I used um, from Craft Supplies for You today and I really really love how this um, pin cushion turned out. It's something I've been wanting to make for a long time and when I saw some of the products that Craft Supplies for You carries I know that they would be perfect for this pro this project. And so I'm going to hold the project up a little bit closer you so you guys can kind of see all the gorgeous details. And so I did start off with um, a teacup and saucer that I purchased at the thrift store and I locked out. I was able to find it for um, a whopping 50 cents. And part of that reason was because there was um, a few chips and nicks um, in the saucer and the teacup. But with all my embellishing, um, I was able to hide them so no one will be the wiser about those. And when you look at it, um, when I first started designing it, I did try to pull out, um, there's kind of some pinks and some burgundies and some wine colored um, colors inside of the roses that are on the teacup and, and the saucer here. So um, I did pull those out with a Craft Supplies for You product. And so at the base of my teacup pin cushion, I used, if you look closely here, um, I have this adorable heart um, plastic embellishment that comes from Craft Supplies for You. And I layered it up on top of a leaf. And this leaf does come from one of the other flowers that's in my cluster here. I do save all the leaves when I pull them off just because they do make really nice little um, side embellishments on different pro projects. And let's see, I also added this charm right here which does come from craft supply for you you can use it as a charm but in this case i did end up using it as a little embellishment at, on my plate and again you see more leaves kind of scattered throughout and then we get into the flower cluster and um all the flowers that i use in this cluster do come from craft supplies for you um there's a fabric one right here that's adorable with uh little beads in the middle. There are some rolled um, some rolled roses and also this beautiful gold one which I picked out to bring out the gold in the side of the, the plate and also on the top of the teacup. Um, these gorgeous wine ones and I do have a small one and then also on the side you can see here I have a larger one. I also chose to add in um, this little cherub or angel um, embellishment and it did originally have a little hook on the top of it that you could definitely use as a charm but I did pull it out um, with a pliers and it wasn't that hard and then I went ahead and covered up the hole with this little bit of um, strung pearl beads that I have right here and that did come this the string of pearls did come from my stash um, but I just love how that part of it turned out and then again if you kind of go off to the side here you can see I use some of the acrylic wheat sprays that um, are carried in the craft supplies for you she does have a wide variety of colors but for this one I chose kind of an ombre pink one so it goes from clear to a darker pink at the bottom which again matches this teacup perfectly and I really love these they were really fun to work with and I will be purchasing some more of these in the future and then on the side um, I also have this adorable fabric flower that I purchased back in September from Craft Supplies for You along with my design team package and then if you look on the inside this one also has um, some pearls in it too and this one's just gorgeous this one would be beautiful in some different like decorating for weddings or making a beautiful card for a wedding or something really elegant it's a it's a very elegant looking flower and then again I have another fabric flower and then some more of the paper flowers um, off to the side and that kind of finishes it off and then also if you look way down at the bottom of the cup I did I was going to use a doily um, from craft supplies for you and instead I ended up using some of her trim that I cut up 
Um, it's one of the white dainty trims that she carries, and then I placed that underneath my teacup um, just because I wanted a little bit to show, but not a lot, and that was the perfect piece for this. And so that kind of explains the bottom part of my altered pin cushion. And so now I'm gonna just tip it a little bit so you guys can kind of see a little bit more. So I did go ahead and I used like a pantyhose that I stuffed some fiber fell in and then I added pink fabric over that. And then on top of that, um, I added, once I did that and I glued it into the cup, I went ahead and added this white doily that you could see right here. And then on top of that white doily, um, and again, that white doily does come from Craft Supplies for You, and that was part of my design team um, package that I received, and it came in the variety pack that I picked up. On top of that, I layered a little bit darker pink doily, and that doily I received from a swap that I had with Deanna Marie just recently, and again, that pink just carried out um, the color perfectly that I had in the in the plate. And then on top of that, I added another doily that was in my variety pack from Craft Supplies for You. And then to top it off, then I added one of the fabric flowers that is also from Craft Supplies for You. So that's kind of the base of my pin cushion. And then on top of that, I just couldn't leave it alone and I wanted to decorate it some more with some of the beautiful products from Craft Supplies for You. And so I took some of my trim, um, some of my lace trim that had some flowers on it, and I cut it apart. And so I ended up with all these little flowers. And then I went ahead and added some of these ribbon roses, which these small ribbon roses came from my stash. But Julie does sell very similar um, ribbon roses in her store in a wide variety of colors. I just happen to have these already in my stash. And then I also went ahead and um, lined my cup with some beads, a string of beads, and um, Julie does sell um, strings of beads in her store. And then I also added um, some of this, this is hand-strung pearl beads right here that are also down here. I added some of that up here and I just kind of looped it um, all over the top, if you guys can kind of see that. And um, then after that, I went ahead and added one of the craft supplies for you butterflies. And this one does come in, I believe this, I picked out a cream color in my design team package. And it did have some like crystal bling in it um, right here and up here. And I chose to take that bling off and I added some flat back pearl bling to it, um, especially for this project, just because I had used um, the strings of pearls and stuff. I just wanted to carry that theme out a little bit more. And then, of course, um, since I had a teacup pin cushion, I needed some um, pins to stick in it. And so I did go ahead and also my design team package, I received, you can look at the very top, these little um, white flower um, embellishments or beads. I did use those on a lot of my stick pins. Those do come from Craft Supplies for You. And there are also a number of other beads and bead caps and stuff that you can purchase at Craft Supplies for you to make your own pins. But um, I just went ahead and then added that to the tops of some of my little corsage pins and added a few more beads and end caps from, from my stash. So that was one of them. And then here's another one that has one of those beautiful white fl acrylic flower beads up at the top and then I just again just added some more miscellaneous beads from my stash. So here's another view of the altered teacup pin cushion. I really love how this turned out and I especially love that it looks elegant and it looks like it took me forever to make but it was actually a very easy project. I sat down one evening with all my embellishments and flowers from craft supplies for you and I was able to decorate it all like I said in one evening. Um, I especially love some of the small embellishments that I added in onto this teacup, like the altered, um, or like the cherub, and the butterfly, of course, just because I'm a huge fan of butterflies. And then um, the little key and the heart, I just think they added so much to, the, to this project. Um, they're not huge or expensive embellishments, but they definitely added 
added to the overall appearance of it. So um, thanks again, everybody, for watching um, my project share today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know. And again, I have links um, listed below in the description box for craft supplies for you. And everybody have a wonderful day and happy crafting.